Hello and welcome to another video. On this one we are starting a new championship which is the N300 KTM Expo R 2012 and um, as you can see the sprint race is about to get underway. Uh, as normal in the sprint race you don't need to use tyres or fuel um, as you can see there Tepic and Jag uh, fighting for first place there. Um, first time we've really used this car seriously we have used it a couple of times um, but this is the first time we used it seriously um, and we'll just uh, have a little look here around the field and uh, let's see how this one pans out Everyone still looks quite close together, which is nice to see. Um, I think that will be the case with these cars. Uh, we're running sports tyres, so not six, not racing, we're on sports tyres. Um, you've got soft, medium, hard available. Obviously for the sprint, everybody should be on the softs. Um, you see the top three there, very close together still. The others have dropped back slightly. Um, we're at Nürburgring uh, GP circuit, uh, Formula One track. Um, love this track I have to say we don't do it very often because um, I think I'm in the minority I don't think many people do like it um, but I do actually like this track there's uh, Tepic there very close on my bumper there uh, and you can see the rest of the cars in the field I do think this is going to be similar to one of our fun cups um, because the cars obviously they're all the same um, it's not where it's group 3 group 4 you pick anything so I think um, these cars are going to be um, uh, these races are going to be pretty close as we can see which is uh, going to be really good and uh, when we get onto the longer race which does follow this um, it's uh, I'm trying to think, I think it's 17 laps something like that um, but in that one you've got to use all three compounds of tyre so that will be the soft, medium and hard um, tyre wear isn't horrific in this so they're, they're mandatory stops basically because you've got to use all three tyres it's a mandatory you're going to have to do two stops um, like I say you're not going to have tyre wear but it just mixes things up a bit um, because it will depend uh, you know you've got options as to what tyre to start on maybe depend on where you are but we'll talk more about that when we get to the second race As you can see there, we're just flipping down the field just to see where everybody is. Have a look at some of the liveries. Uh, it's quite hard to do a livery on this car. Uh, I believe Tepic's managed it and a few others. Um, but it is quite hard because there isn't actually that many uh, body panels to uh, to work with. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it is. But uh, I love the way these cars move. If, if you look closely, you'll see that the uh, you can actually see the suspension moving. And you can actually see the wheels like tilting up and down depending on... Uh, Sort of if you're cornering hard which is really good to see that level of detail is uh, really really amazing and uh, one of the things that we do like about Gran Turismo Sport is the graphics and I uh, have to say they are top notch when it comes to this car really really good uh, and I'm glad we're doing this as a championship it's a normal uh, five race championship and um, 
just trying to think where we are next week. Next week we're at Sakuba, which is a really short track, so that's going to be interesting to see where that goes. We're going to skip to the final lap now, and uh, who have we got in first? Okay, so Jag's in first, coming around the last corner now. So well done to him as he comes up to cross the line. And then not far behind, we've got Tepic. You can see him now coming up to cross the lines. Well done to him. And in third place, we have Day Speed. Well done to him. Again, also very, very close there. So that's the short one. We're now going on the uh, long race. Um, it's reverse grid as normal. Rolling start. Um, we're focusing on me at the moment um, because I'm right at the back. I mean, absolutely stone dead last. So I thought it'd be interesting to see if I can come through the field. I personally decided to start on hards. If you look at the tyre gauge on the bottom left, it will say SH, which stands for Sports Hard. And as you can see, I broke well early there for the corner because I know the tyres are going to be cold. Yeah, my idea was uh, not to stay on the hard tyres for very long. Um, because like I said tyre wear is not a factor here and they're just slowing you down um, I pre, pre my pre-plan uh, and I did stick to it was to do two laps on the hard tyres get them out of the way and change on to the mediums for the middle stint and then uh, at some point nearer the end of the race maybe lap 10 I suppose change onto the softs and finish the final part of the race on the fastest tyre with the lowest fuel it just made sense to me considering I was starting stone dead at the back uh, it just, just made sense to me to get rid of the hards get rid of the mediums and then try and claw back what I can um, if I was at the front of the grid uh, I would have probably started on softs and tried to sprint away and put in those lap times at the start the only downside with doing it that way is obviously you've got a full tank of fuel so you know you, you do gain on the tyres but you lose on the old uh, fuel situation so yeah d difficult uh, decision but that's the whole point it's supposed to be that you've got a bit of strategy there and you can change it up and what you do might be different to somebody else it's not necessarily wrong it might work for you or it will depend on your your car choice or uh, on your sorry on, on your car choice it will depend on on other factors which might be out of your control like there somebody went off wide that was brilliant because i got a place without having to overtake somebody somebody's in the gravel there i believe it was fizz gig uh, i decided not to go for a move i decided to give him a bump draft um, just to help him out i had the overspeed i could have gone past but uh early doors early doors first lap don't want to mess things up so give him a little bump draft that'll help him catch up to the car in front and uh, we'll do a maneuver at another point there you go on the chicane he got a bad exit so we did did the move there so no harm done somebody else off wide there as you can see they did rejoin we had a slight tap nothing serious it's just one of those he'd rejoined and sort of come across may not have known i was there um, but it was a slight bump it didn't knock me off it didn't knock him off everything's good um, i did skip this race on you'll see um we had another light tap there but again nothing serious um, we're currently running in sixth place and um, the reason i've skipped i'll skip it on is because um because people a lot of people pitted on the first lap uh, and the pit stops were all over the place as I expected them to be uh, as we were talking about the strategy earlier so it was really hard to see who was actually in first place um, we skipped to the end now um, I am in first um, to be fair Tepic would have been um, but he had an accident and that cost him about four or five seconds so he would have been four or five seconds up the road but he'd done a fantastic job of closing back in on me if you can see I think if there was another lap or two Tepic would have got past me but anyway double win for me as I cross the line again in first Tepic in second again so two seconds of him so not bad and we've got Bubble Top in third, so that's your top three. Thanks for watching as always. Hit the like if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you next week at Sakuba.